Shalom, Yashallah, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High, Yahweh. I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Yashar Allah. Kol Haloyim La, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Haraka, Kwadash. For blessing our elders with spirit of truth so that we may know. Shout out to the Akim and the Akwa that's keeping the faith in the works. Y'all keep at it. It's your brother Abaya coming at you with more precepts. It's the book of First Peter, chapter 4, and verse 7. But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. All right. Uh, we are living in the end times. And not only does the elect know it, but the world can feel it. They just don't know. Exactly the 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 um, correct direction that everything is moving towards, but they can definitely feel something strange in the air, and uh, it's it's not like anything that has been before because of the times that we live in. We living in the actual end times. So I'm gonna let this video play, and I'll be back. I legitimately think. We are one or two events away from living in the Stone Age again. And I think it could happen in our lifetime and it could happen to you and I. Like, I'm, I'm really convinced that the fabric of society is way more fragile than anyone appreciates. Yeah. That most people appreciate, rather. I mean, and I feel it in the air. I legitimately think we are one or two events away from living in the Stone Age again. And he is absolutely correct. <laughs> ah, straight up. <laughs> Matter of fact, let me see. Uh, this is Revelation chapter 11 and verse 14. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. All right, that third woe being the third world war. And it started, right? The third woe begins with the gathering of the nations, right? Um, and we witnessing that with all the all the nations that's in war mode, you know. Um, let me see. Joel chapter three and verse one: For behold, in those days and in that time. When I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot. And for my, my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. All right, so the, the gathering of the nations is the beginning of the third wall and the most high already got that going on all right um let me see i want to say this ezekiel is that ezekiel be this horse and the pressure um it's a lot one second yeah, it's a lot. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm in the. <laughs> I'm in Joel. I'm staying in Joel. All right, going down to um verse. Uh, let me see. Verse nine. Proclaim you this among the among the Gentiles. Prepare a war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning, pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. All right, assemble yourselves and calm all ye heathen and gather yourselves together round about. Thither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Yahweh. Right, so the Most High got the nations gathering up and they're gathering up for the third war. Right, along with right, the other event. Because, you know, he said a couple of, of events. I'm, 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 and I'm only basing this um, particular video based off of what he just said. There's other events that also, you know, coincide with it. But the two major ones. Let me see. Second Ezra's. 
um, what's that, uh, 15, and, let me see, 15, actually, second edge of 15 and 14, woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Right? Civil war. Right? But see, there's other events that go around, uh, um, you know, like I said, that coincide with these two major events. Right? Um, Jacob's trouble. It, it goes hand in hand with... Uh, Civil War, right? The MOTB, right? It goes hand in hand with the Civil War and the um, <clears throat> Third War, right? For instance, what's going on with China and Taiwan and the daughter of Babylon having a high uh, um, interest in <clears throat> in Taiwan because they are, if I'm not mistaken, the top manufacturer of um, semiconductors with the, which are um, you know microchips. Right, so all of these things are happening at the same time, right? And like I said, or like he just said, they can feel it in the air. People can feel it, but the elect know it. The elect know exactly what's going on, right? We understand that the end of all things is here, and we're witnessing it. And we praise in Yahweh by Shemir, I will shine forward because Second Ezra 69 says, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. We're looking for the beginning of it that followeth. But this world got to get out of the way. All right? So, let me see. Go to 2nd Ezra chapter 9. Mm. Let me see. Let me start from the top. Second Ezra chapter 9 and verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. All right? And they are witnessing Yahweh by Shemahawah Shai visit this world, man. They seeing the signs. But they just don't know what the signs mean. They don't know the origin of the signs. Right? But like I said, the elect know. When I say the elect, I'm talking about the elect of power. The elect of the elect of Yasharala. Right? Because Israel in itself has been elected by Yahweh by Shema But it's an elect of the elect. The one third. Right? The 144,000 that can get the, that have this understanding. Right? And the only ones that can get it too. Right? Second Ezra chapter 9 and verse 3. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. <laughs> All right? Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings in wonder and powerful works and endings in effects and signs. All right? It's affecting it's, it's affecting these people. They can feel it. They can they can everybody can clearly sense something that ain't right. And they wanted to get back normal so bad. Right? They want everything to just get back to a party central, but it's it, it ain't that. Right, this place is getting worse and worse because it's it's going out of here. <clears throat> right, you got the um, uh, uh, daughter of Babylon's allies that's turning against her, and it's it's prophesied to get worse. Right, and um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Trump already said if he get elected, um, uh, he ain't got no problem telling uh, oh man, who it was? I think it was either NATO. NATO or the UN to go against um, 
some of the Babel, some of the daughter Babylon's allies. I'm sorry for you know because I I only saw a, a, a title of an article at a glance, and I'm trying to remember exactly how it was worded. But basically, it's, it's a lining up with Revelation 17, where the Most High said that uh you know the daughter of Babylon's would would um, the daughter of Babylon's allies would hate her and burn her with fire. Right, so we seeing all these things coming to pass, and we praising Yahweh by Shemel Shai for it, like I said, man. So I ended with that, man. Yahweh by Shemel Shai Ratzazad. These precepts in this video were edifying. Call Haloyim La Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Harakakudash Shalom Yasha Allah. Let me let this play one more time. I legitimately think we are one or two events away from living in the Stone Age again. And I think it could happen in our lifetime and it could happen to you and I. Like, I'm, I'm really convinced that the fabric of society is way more fragile than anyone appreciates. Yeah. That most people appreciate, rather. I mean, and I feel it in the air. I 